get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey guys, Let's what's for dinner tonight? Cooking. Why not keep it simple, quick, and easy and do sandwiches, soup and sandwich. There's nothing wrong with a really good sandwich and a cup or a bowl of soup for dinner. And my tuna muffin melts really do the trick. They're also great for people who on Fridays uh, during Lent are, you know, doing uh, seafood things. So these are really perfect. And they're just a really quick fix. Starts out with a delicious, simple tuna salad recipe. So I've taken basically two cans of white albacore tuna, your favorite tuna, what's ever on sale, and drain them really well. And then I like to flake the tuna just with a fork. What I like about this recipe is I normally have everything to make it on hand. I've got English muffins is going to be the base of this. So I've got English muffins in the fridge for breakfast. Kids like to put, you know, butter and jam on those. I usually have a couple cans of tuna in the pantry, some mayonnaise in the fridge, and then some vegetables that you use, uh, need using in that, uh, you know, bottom drawer of your refrigerator. So these are one of those things after you've had a long day and you're not sure what to make for dinner, these are perfect. Okay, so my tuna is all flaked and drained. Now I'm adding about a quarter of a cup of finely diced celery, quarter of a cup of finely diced red pepper. That's going to give it some nice color. I've got some fresh lemon juice. The other secret ingredient in this that makes it just so special is some fresh dill. I love putting fresh dill in my tuna salad. In fact, uh, I made these for my dad one time and he said, Amy, why is that tuna salad so good? What's in there? And it was definitely the dill and he loved it. And I happen to love fresh dill with tuna too. And the lemon juice really just kind of cuts that fishy taste. Okay, and now we've got some mayonnaise. Just enough mayonnaise to bind it together. I always start with a little can always add more. So start with maybe a quarter of a cup and you can always add more. Now I've got my English muffins that are split. And I'm just going to pile up my tuna salad onto my muffins. This is one of the recipes in my latest cookbook. Just quick, easy fix. All right. Now I'm going to do some sliced tomato. If you don't like tomato, you could leave it off. But most tuna melt sandwiches have tomato. And what I like about these is, you know, tuna melts normally, you have to be flipping them like a grilled cheese. And these are so great because you can bake them. They're a little bit more healthy and you don't have to be standing at the stove. And then your favorite type of cheese. I'm using Swiss, American also is wonderful. Just a great melting Swiss, uh, or melting cheese, I should say. Now these go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just to warm the tuna salad, melt the cheese, um, toast up the English muffin. If you wanna get the cheese a little bit browner, you can throw the broiler on for a minute or two just towards the very end. Serve these with a cup of tomato soup. And I always like to serve tuna salad with potato chips because, come on, they just go so great together. And there you go, my tuna muffin melts. Recipe's on the website. It's also in my latest cookbook, and you can pick it up at any area of Festival Foods. Enjoy!